The Evil Geniuses Master Cup Series for Quake Live continues as we bring you another semifinal, or excuse me, another quarterfinal match and the semifinals and the grand finals and the winner will play Evil Geniuses own to hang for one of these GT660 MSI notebooks. With that being said, Slasher, start us off ZTN3. Well, all chance they would have picked up the red and the yellow, uh, and that leaves the struct with the mega uh, and the other yellow. So pretty even uh, spawns there at the beginning. We'll, we'll see uh, Destruct is going to have position over this red. We'll see if he's going to be able to come up. Chance is going to come from behind. Uh, and he's going to LG to LG. Destruct is winning this battle. Uh, able to oh. get more health. Chance able to pick up his 225s though. Uh, Destruct with some nice plasma climb there uh, to pick up that red. But Chance is going to have the position uh, for that mega though. Destruct with the equalizer hitting that rail. So clutch rail there by Destruct. Uh, giving him a little bit of a lead here uh, going into this next red. That that was also another move that surprised me. I, I almost thought that Destructor's going to whip out that grenade launcher and try to heavy hit that that Mega, but he, he didn't, and he did land that nice rail, as you said. And there's another great rail, and uh, I don't think that I've seen uh, Destruct quite play a ZTN game like this one, definitely using that rail a little bit more defensively, something that we definitely say he's good at, but right now, he's uh, hurting a little bit in the armor department. He'll pick up that yellow in the back room, and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. So at this point in the game, you know, you can kind of be okay not having full control, but I think he believes that he's got a chance to steal Mega here when little does he know it's not up for a while. So he's going to give up red armor in the process, and it took Chance a little while to get there. So both players uh, not quite even as Chance has a nice little lead with 146, 175 in the health and armor department. And wow, another mega pickup with the rail. And I'm still following Chance, but I'd say that he's got most of the, he's done most of the hoarding here on, uh, on ZTN. Well, Destruct had that lead going to the next red, and then, uh, you know, not calculated decision there by Destruct as Chance picks up that frag going LG to LG. Uh, with Chance. Uh, so Destruct, you know, not taking that red before, letting Chance get that red, not having timing in Mega, then that Chance got Mega. Uh, the one rail he hit did damage, but it wasn't enough there. Uh, Chance with, the, you know, enough of the items is able to take that lead one to nothing now, uh, be able to pick up this Mega and have a great position on this next red. He's gonna and have Chance perfect. Oh my God. I think that Destruct literally dropped from that platform the moment that red armor spawned. It was like he had one foot. Oh, oh and a man. grenade spam kills him. But it was like Destruct had one foot inside that armor and was about to suit up. And then all of a sudden he heard Chance come out of that telly and uh, it was it, it, he knew that he needed to go ahead and say his goodbyes and leave that position. So while it was a smart move, it was the grenade spam that ultimately took him out. And there's another frag. However, Chance very low, 33 points of health. He does pick up that Mega, but he's not in as great of a position as he was. Of course, as I say that, he suits up with the red, and now he's sitting pretty once again here on ZTN with a three-point lead over Destruct. I mean, so Destruct going for that mega push uh, on that third frag was a good idea. He did take Chance pretty low. Oh, Chance wow. with three straight rails on Destruct on that above platform. Going to take away any momentum that uh, Destruct has. Destruct is actually going to push in anyway, and he does hit two rockets, but this Chance with an amazing defensive rail uh, there and just allowing Destruct to get that red uh, against another frag. So in in a matter of 30 to 45 seconds, it was gone from 3 nothing now to 6 nothing for chance uh so destruct can't keep pushing in like this he is gonna have to play uh defensive to try to pick up these yellows uh, and chance oh, no. is gonna surprise him for oh this round. man i think it's seven nothing gonna have another spawn here uh if he hits one rail or rocket here it's good oh. but no destruct gets like 10 plasma balls in yeah the but slasher man. was it worth it it's seven to one right now i mean how many frags did he give away to build to that moment right there was that what was, was all those other frags worth it for that one moment of glory when he's still down by six frags yes he does have control but i really have to question Again, one of those situations where maybe he let his uh, emotion sort of play the game versus him playing the game. Again, we do see another frag go in Destruct's favor, but that was Chance killing himself. 
And it's really all about can Destruct maintain some level of order with the power-ups right now? Because if he can't, I fully expect Chance to be able to run ZTN the way he has the first half of this game. And with that being said, we are halfway through this one, and we are tied one game apiece in this quarterfinal matchup between Chance and Destruct, but Chance has a hefty five-point lead right now. Well, there is still five minutes remaining, so there is a lot of time for Destruct to do damage. He does 